Okay, Juwan, uh, you've had quite the history with this organization. Two Grey Cups, you played eight seasons here. Now you're back. What does it feel like to be back with the organization? Uh, it's it's a great feeling. You know, uh, just from the moment you got off the plane, it just, everything felt like home again. Uh, it's, it's been an easy transition to, to get back and get in the flow of things. So uh, it's a great feeling. It feels good to be back. How did this opportunity come about? Well, it's, you know, I talked, me and Dickie used to sit around and talk when he played. We used to sit around in the hot tub, the cold tub, and just talk about future plans. And I always told him I wanted to coach and do that. And uh, we talk after I retired, we talk in the off seasons and just, you know, the opportunities, they were there. They just, you know, all, all things didn't fit in place. Um, and so he reached out to me this off season and everything seemed to work out. All the chips fell in place and uh, perfect timing. And so here I am. You haven't coached a lot yet, have you? No, Are you ready for this? Oh, yeah. I mean, honestly, um, you know, people ask me that all the time. And I say, you know, with what I do, the type of person I am, I feel like I've always been a coach, more or less an on-field coach. Um, but being able to, to handle guys and deal with these guys and personalities, I mean, it just comes to come with the territory. Um, but getting a guy excited, uh, helping him understand football, I don't think that would be a hard task for me to do. Because as a player, you were a leader, right? You were more a vocal guy with a big voice. Do you think you'll be similar like that when it comes to coaching? Yeah, it's not going to change at all. Um, you know, it's just a passion and love for the game. Um, you know, it doesn't stop. So I'm just trying to give those guys the energy. Um, but I tell you what is good. I have a good stable of guys. So if, if this is a, a good uh, debut in the coaching, I, I feel good about where I am. So let's talk about those guys, the defensive line, because it looks a lot different this year than it did last year. Mm -hmm. I mean, you haven't seen them on the field together yet, but what's your early assessment of the group that you're working with? I'm excited about it. I'm ready to go. Uh, like you say, there are some big names. And, uh, you know, but hats off to Cornell, who was here last year, and Coach Mons, man, uh, the D-line led the league in sacks. So, like, I'm, I'm following up. <laughs> tough competition but uh, these guys I've talked to them all man they're all seem to be competitors uh, ready to go and you know you can't ask for much more as a coach and you know just let the chips fall they may not too much pressure and play ball this team hasn't made it to the West Finals since uh, 2018 that probably doesn't sit well with a lot of people obviously doesn't sit well how do you feel about about that and what does this team need to do to get back to having more playoff success uh, you know it's it's funny you know we talk about getting to the West Final. You know, when I first got here, it's just like, hey, let's make the playoffs, you know. Um, but that's, that's hats off to Coach Huff, Coach Dickey. They've done a great job with this organization. Um, but again, we understand what what needs to be done. And it's, it's you're not going to get there week one. You know, it's going to be chopping wood every week. Uh, and, you know, we just have to help the guys understand that, you know, the playoffs are what matters, you know, and nobody cares. We've seen teams that didn't have the best records in the season go out and win the cup. I mean, the cup is ultimately the goal, and you can't get there without without getting to the West Final. When you think about those two great cups that you won and the teams that you were on, was there something different about those teams that stood out maybe that sort of the losing teams didn't have? Like, what, what helps you guys to rise above? Is there one characteristic that stands out? We were competitive. We were very competitive. We were a close-knit group. Uh, you know, I talk to Nick all the time about, you know, how we would all be together outside of football. Uh, and then once we were on the field, it was we were back at each other's head, and um, it didn't matter who you were if you were quote unquote the superstar or the the last last guy on the PR. You know, um, everybody challenged each other, and everybody wanted to get better. So, um, just competing every day, understanding what the main goal was. Um, you know, the first one I was a rookie, my first one year, so that just kind of happened. Uh, and you, you know, I'm thinking it's going to happen every year. <laughs> so when an opportunity came back around, it's like, you know, no, we have, we have what it takes and let's just go out here and finish. Awesome. Thank you for this. Good luck this season. Thank you.